Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to Centurions Review, the punk rock band of war game review institutions. This is Ben Hurt from Cheap Ass Games. I got the idea to show you guys this because Combat Board Games had done a unboxing of Circus Minimus the other day, so that's what made me think of this game. I haven't tried it yet. I haven't even gone through it, so let's see what this is all about. It says it's a racing game for four to eight players. Welcome to ancient Rome, a swinging town with a little something for everyone. You're a hot-blooded aristocrat with just enough inbreeding to make you a little defensive and you've got a hundred ducats burning a, a hot round hole in your pocket you decide that gambling is your thing gambling is fun gambling is easy and it's also woefully unregulated but it's not enough for you to just bet on the chariot races no you insist on having a piece of the action so you buy your own chariot outfit it with deadly weapons and find the most ruthless chariot jockey west of the steps you're convinced that the more money you spend, the more you will win, which is to a certain extent true, even if most of what you win was yours to begin with. But you don't have to blow your wad on the first race. Sometimes it pays to hold back, save your money, and try to win the next one instead. After all, there's a chariot race every night, and your ducats just keep getting hotter. Let's see what's in here. All right. Take a look, see how long the rules are. Rules are just four pages long. All right, it says it's a series of chariot races. The object of the game is to finish the series with the most money, which may or may not mean having to win the last race. Each race has two parts. First, there's an auction in which players try to buy cards to improve their hands and sweeten the pot for the race. Then there is the race in which players run their chariots around the track and use their cards to try and gain the advantage. Races can have from one to six laps as determined by the players before the series begins. And before everyone race, everyone anties. And now it's going over the auction and moving the chariots and then playing your cards. And after the race, uh, divide the pot into six piles. The winner gets three shares of the pot. The second place finisher gets two shares and third place gets one share. All right, it doesn't sound very complex, but I'm sure it's fun. All right, and here's what the board looks like. Let's take a look at the cards. Move, play after any player rolls a movement die, change the roll to zero, change the roll to two, change it to five. Move four spaces, your speed becomes four. Destroy one improvement, the effects of that improvement wear off at the beginning of the next turn. And change the roll to two. I'm not going to go over every single card, but we'll go over some to get the general idea. Speed burst, your speed becomes six. Change the roll to three, change the roll to five. The player may re-roll if the die is recast. The original roll can't be used. All right. Play while another chariot is passing you. That chariot stops. Move at three spaces in any direction, even straight backwards. Give this card to that player. So sounds like they can play it on you then later. That ch uh, chariot speed becomes one. Give this card to that player. This is when you're passing another chariot. And when you're taking your move, put this card in the track behind the chariot. Every square completely covered by this card becomes impassable for the rest of the race. Interesting. Change the roll to four. All right, and here's the last... One here. Play at any time during the auction. When you step directly behind another chariot, you may decrease its speed to one. Regardless of your roll, you may move a minimum of five spaces each turn. Play during the auction. Xerxes may choose to roll a four instead of rolling the movement die. Each time he does this, pay the pot three ducats. And change the roll to six. Let's see what the board looks like. Looks like the board is in many little pieces here. Alright, so there's a board that's black and white, but I mean, when you're buying something from cheap ass games, you don't expect full color and stuff. But the game itself, 
game itself actually seems interesting, so I look forward to trying this. Have a good evening.